first question is, um, can you tell us about your topic in the Family Enterprise Excellence Conference 2018? Okay, there are two different topics, but I would say uh, the main the main topic mm. is uh, to tell what are the best practices uh, mm. for family business. Yeah. Uh, and I would say that it's very important to work mm. in a professional governance uh -huh. and to, uh, to be professional yes. and to design a good constitution mm. uh, to have a process to, to, mm. to write a good constitution, a mm. good board of directors, mm. a good family mm. uh, council yes. but at the same time to be educated mm. in one uh, side that is really very important to be educated in uh, in how uh, in emotional intelligence, I would say uh, how to communicate between uh, family members, mm -hmm. uh, how to understand the family patterns of the family, how to listen mm -hmm. to family members, mm -hmm. how to uh, self-regulate it ourselves, mm -hmm. because those are tools that usually are not uh, teach in business schools and are very, very, very important for, uh, for the continuity of a family business. Right. That's one of our presentations mm -hmm. uh, yesterday and today was more about our family business. Mm -hmm. That is the oldest family business in mm -hmm. Spain and one of the oldest family business uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, talking about uh, the history of the company yes. and the best practices that we, we have mm -hmm. for the continuity of this uh, family company. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, oh, yes, yes, continue please. You. Um, well, I like what you said, uh, Orha, about, about you know, emotional intelligence, and that's very much related to keeping the family unity, nurturing the relationship, and I feel like that's something that you really advocate, that you really, um, find to be very important to the to the for family businesses to have can you speak more about that like um, yes. nurturing the relationship yes I, I would say that uh, controversy problems conflicts yes. are is normal in all families and in the family in a family that has a company mm. is much more common I would say no? yeah. and the, the, the conflict mm. we don't have to avoid conflict because we think that we if we avoid, avoid conflict mm. we will have more harmony in the family. That's not right, that's a big confusion. We have to learn how to work with conflicts. Mm. And that's a learning process. Mm. Uh, not to avoid conflict, it's mm. to treat conflict and mm. to have more muscle mm. to, uh, to treat uh, conflict. And one of the, the most important mm. things is to listen to each other, right. to have empathy to each other, right. to, to, to understand uh, the family patterns, the family mm. that uh, patterns that mm. some ones are positive and some ones are negative, and to use the positive one. Mm. Uh, those are, in my uh, view, mm. a very important uh, tools that we need to have harmony in our mm. company, mm. and that's not easy. But we can learn. Mm. The good thing and the good. Uh, the good thing is that we can learn all those things, but right. we need to uh, be teaching on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I really like about, about what you're saying, Borja, because this is a validation of what we do in Premier, because before we do any intervention with the family, our first intervention is really family relationship to get a gauge of where is the family in terms of the relationship with each other. So it's such a big thing coming from you, you know, that this is also your practice in the family and it's also what you espouse with your other clients. So my next question is, um, can you talk about the benefits or the importance of creating a family constitution and having a family constitution in your family for many, many years, what are the tips that you can give to other family businesses? I think the best to, to build or to write a family constitution is a process, okay? It's not the end, it's the process. That the process, a good process of writing a good constitution mm -hmm. is uh, to, to be helped or a professional 
and at the same time to work with the family, not just with one or two people from the family, to many representatives of the family uh, that could represent all the, all the family. Mm -hmm. And it's by this process mm -hmm. that the family could talk about the problems of the family, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, they understand the values of the, of the mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. how is the vision for the family company in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and at the end is the writing constitution, is uh, the agreements that we have in the family, what the rules that we put in the family mm -hmm. to, to, to avoid conflict. Uh, is those are the concrete things that we have to write in the constitution. Yes. As for example, uh, what are will be the rules uh, to work as an executive in the company? Yes. What are the rules to be part of the board of directors? Mm -hmm. uh, we want in law or in, not in law in our company yes. as an executive, mm -hmm. as a board member, as mm -hmm. shareholders, uh, and many other things. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, the constitution has to be flexible in the future. After some years, you have to uh, see if it's useful for the family and for the company. Mm -hmm. And if it's not completely useful, you can uh, write or rebuild this constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our case. After 30 years, we uh, write a new constitution because the situation of the family was different and the situation of the of the market and of the company was completely different and we decided to to initiate an, a new process to write a new constitution and that was a, a good thing for the family and for the company yeah um can you also speak briefly about about family governance and uh the importance of that um, okay. governance yeah okay for me uh, why governance is so important? First of all, to try uh, to separate what is uh, ownership, what is family, and what is business. Okay? That's because we need a, a professional board of directors, and we have a professional board of directors, not just with family members, with independents, because independents could help us to be more neutral, more job objective, or could give us to give uh, an opinion from an expert from uh, a different market or more international view. And at the same time, we need to have our family council because we need. there are a lot of uh, things like emotional attachment to the company that we have to work for the continuity for the company. Right. Thank you for sharing that. And then um, the first time I heard you speak, Borja was in Miami. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, um, during the FFI conference. Yes, two you years were, ago. Or yeah. One. yeah, mostly two years ago. Huh? Yeah, three, uh, yeah, two years ago. Yeah. Um, and then you were with um, a lawyer at that time, uh, uh, Mejia. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes and yes, yes, then yes. you were, they were talking in the beginning and then yeah, they called you after. Remember. Now, um, Ricardo I, Mejia. Yes. yes, Ricardo. Yes, yes, he's from Colombia. Yes, and so I remember. Um, you sharing about your next generation program. Um, you shared at that time um, a junior committee, right? And uh, today you also spoke about junior committee. Um, would you like to share to us briefly yes, about that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I think we need next generation, they need their own uh, place to talk, okay? Uh, mostly in family business that older generation is too big you know uh, we need uh, a space to talk uh, and a space uh, uh, to grow at the same time and this junior committee uh, in our company and in other company the main objective is to uh, to know each other and to to organize activities that could help uh, the next generation to uh, to to work together yes. because uh, if they work together mm. before mm -hmm. uh, having responsibilities in the company right. uh, we are, is a learning process for them yeah. but at the same time is a place to organize mm. his education their education mm. education in values education mm. in 
how uh, the company yeah. manage mm -hmm. and other things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And my last question, I know that you're also a family business consultant. Um, what, you, what can you tell us about the role of uh, professionals or uh, family business consultants to a family business? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand uh, because uh, I think the role of a family business consultant is uh, is an external because in family business there are a lot of emotionality, you know, and sometimes it's very difficult to talk to each other. And an external could help us to have a more neutral conversation because we need a more neutral uh, conversation to afford the big decisions that we need for the family and for the company. Mm -hmm. And we need a uh, professional help mm -hmm. from a really professional family business consultant uh, to be able to take the big decisions for the future of the company. Mm -hmm. and because the, the consultant mm -hmm. is a professional uh, who will uh, help us to communicate each other, to understand uh, what we need for the future, right. and to to lead a process for change, for succession. Uh, I really, really recommend uh, to ask for help for a professional because uh, I have my own uh, experience with my family. But I have also the experience to help other families as a consultant, uh, and really, uh, uh, it's an opportunity uh, to work for the future of the family company. Thank you. Very well said, Borja.